just wanted to uh, take a few minutes here to show my uh, solar tracker that I built off of uh, ideas off of YouTube here. Unfortunately, I just burnt out my last incandescent bulb over there. Uh, that was just a little 250 watt and it was working great. Uh, and then I decided to pull out my big lights here. And for some reason it's malfunctioning and I think it might be that I'm getting a little bit too much solar power. But anyway, I'll go over this thing here. It doesn't seem to, it seems to be overheating now. Um, the transistors on it, but I'm going to show you the design anyway. Uh, maybe by then it'll be cooled down enough to try again. Uh, I've never, never tried it with this much light before. Usually I just use a 200 watt or 100 watt uh, incandescent light. Uh, these LED lights do not work good. Uh, LEDs or these uh, fluorescent lights do not uh, emit enough energy to operate it. So uh, anyway, basically what I have is just a coffee can because it was the right size with a Lazy Susan uh, hot glued onto it. Um, I've got a couple of solar panels on each side uh, angled so that uh, when the sun goes down in the west it will still pick up an eastbound sunshine. Um, we're more in the northern hemisphere here so we don't have an extreme east sun if you know what I mean. So we don't, this, otherwise this panel would have had to have been angled back even farther. So what I've done is I've just picked up one of those little breadboard things from uh, Radio Shack. It really didn't prove to be a lot easier. I thought it'd be a lot neat neater and, and more presentable, but really it's not. Uh, the system I have here is not, I would personally like to find a better way to do it. It's actually got two battery sources and the motor, the, the battery sources actually oppose each other and the winning one basically wins the motor over and uh, gives the direction on which to uh, turn the solar tracker. So uh, on the drive system here I, I've robbed a VCR slash CD player whatever you can find. I found a fairly efficient motor that uh, comes down here and, and drives a worm gear. I don't know if you can see it here see if I can tip this a little bit here. It drives a worm gear which drives that bigger sprocket which in turn drives this belt that's actually off a scanner and it just wraps the can. So it's a fairly simple design. Works quite well. It's geared just right I think. Um, with the circuitry uh, it's just uh, using transistors. Uh, the the uh, solar panels trigger the transistor to unload the battery to the motor. Basically, you're using the transistor as a switch, which is variably controlled by the amount of light that each little solar panel receives. So these solar panels are hooked up in in, in parallel to each other, and you can also see here I've got blocking diodes on here, and those prevent power from going back to the solar panels and uh, having the each panel if you will uh, argue with each other so if this panel is receiving more light than this panel um, this panel will rob this panel of the power but with these blocking diodes if this one's making three volts and this one's only making one uh, this one here would try and gobble up the difference with these blocking diodes, it won't let the power go back to the uh, the solar the the one that's producing less light. So this higher powered solar panel will win, and the machine will start to turn back by sending its power to the transistor. Um, having these two power sources deadhead against each other, uh, in my opinion, is not the best way to do this. Um, but to switch the motor over. I'd need some sort of a double pull, double throw system to actually physically reverse the wiring. And that wasn't something I really wanted to do. This was just kind of a little experiment. I thought it would be fun to try. And like I say, up until I just hooked up this uh, 500 watt halogen, it did very well. Um, and I don't know if I fried a transistor or what, but now when I hook it up it just continuously goes in circles. 
uh, transistors are smoking hot so I think what happened is I lit these up a little too much with this bright bright light here and uh, she may have met her end here I'm not sure but anyway I'll uh, I'll hook it up here and just see what what it's gonna do so there's two power supplies I have to hook up and I don't have it on switches I just have these little alligator clips here and uh, see when I hook it up it immediately it starts turning and then this one counterbalances the turn and you can see it's just turning just a smidge here which leads me to believe that I fried a transistor so I'll just turn this away from the light a little bit here and I'll turn this light on and we'll see if it's gonna work or not here yeah it's working but it's going the wrong direction so I've I fried a transistor here obviously so uh, we're not gonna get to see it track the light like it normally would I can't believe I just did that but uh, as you can see here I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not but um, it's it's turning at a, a modestly slow rate there and uh, that's relatively the speed it would track the Sun at um, it doesn't go a lot faster than that if I unhook one of these supplies it's probably speed up a bit but I had some smoke actually coming out of the circuit board right in this area here so that's right where that transistor is so I think I smoked a transistor just probably by giving too much light to the uh, I've never done that before so I just kinda wanted to show you how this system works it was fun to build uh, hot glue gun was definitely uh, my friend on this job just kinda stick her together um, it opens up doors for larger projects uh, we'd like to do a uh, solar tracking uh, hot water heater and uh, with a parabolic mirror and uh, we thought this would be an interesting way uh, this being the smaller scale version of course um, of maybe controlling something a little bit larger and uh, like I say it was fun if nothing it was a fun little science experiment but uh, food for thought uh, <laughs> maybe the 500 watt halogen wasn't the greatest idea especially when I'm only a foot and a half away from it uh, had I been on the other side of the shop it might have been a little different so uh, but uh, anyway I'll, uh, I'll just show you here if I unhook this supply and hook this one up it should turn the other way which indicates to me that that one transistor is uh, stuck in the open position and uh, she got smoked so uh, I'll probably have to change that transistor right there I don't know if you'll get a lot from my uh, looking at the circuitry or not there but basically the two transistors if you google up a transistor you have a base emitter and a ground uh, I think it is base emitter and uh, collector I guess sorry and it will explain to you how it works and you can use that to your advantage to to take a little bit of power and make it do more power and it'll it'll the transistor the the solar panel being variable voltage will actually up the voltage to what I have here is 9 volts so uh, that's kind of uh, kind of this the situation here there's there's some good information on YouTube about this and uh, lots of people have done it I just thought I'd put mine up here if anyone uh, was interested alright thanks for viewing